Hello, everyone. Uh, let's do this program. This is the one I give you in the lecture notes. Um, write a program that does the following. Get the user's full name, get the user's age, calculate the user's age in 20 years, get the user's three test scores, calculate the user's average score, and then display all the information. OK, so let's do this. Um, uh, this is already uh, the skeleton of the program. So first, we always have to declare the needed uh, variables, right? So what do we need? What do we want to know? We want to know this person's full name. This you are not quite familiar yet, but I'm just going to put it here. Uh, a person's full name is a string, so the type is a string. Okay, Full name. And we also need to get the person's age. So age, usually it is uh, int, int, age. We also need the three test scores. So int, we call it score one, score two, score three. Okay. And also we need the average score, right? So the average score should be accurate so let's make it a double average. Average score. And what else do we need? Uh, we need to display the age in 20 years. So let's declare another variable, call it new age. OK, so those are the needed variables. And we need to get user input. What else do we need? Think about it. Since we want to get users' input from the keyboard, we also need the scanner object, OK? So scanner, and we can call it scan or input or keyboard, whatever name you want to call it, um, we create a scanner object. But remember, when we create a scanner object, we need to import the scanner class. So let's import it. Import. It's in the Java util dot uh, Java util package, and we will discuss package in chapter three. Okay, so we import that, and we created the scanner object for reading from the keyboard. And now we will tell the user what to do. Right, give the user instruction. So, uh, what is your full name? Okay. And then we will read that full name uh, in, oh, system, <laughs> what did I do? System.out.println, what is your full name, OK? And then we will read that full name and put it into the string variable full name. So full name equals to what? We use the scanner object named scan, and we use the method next line. This will read the whole line. If you use next, it will only read the one name, the first name. Uh, if you want to read the full name separated by spaces, you need to use next line. OK, before that, I want to do the documentation. So here we are prompting prompt and get user input. OK, so now we got the name. And uh, we need to get what else? We need to get the age, right? So what is your age? And we want to read the age and put it in this age variable we declared. So age is equal to, again, we use the scanner object and next int, since age is an int variable, OK? And then we want to ask the user to enter the three test scores. So we will say, please enter the three test scores separated by a space. OK, so sometimes this is too long and you will just separate them. So to the next line, this is easier to read. OK, so we already have a space here after this, uh, so we don't need a space here. OK, um, and the three test scores, 
we will read them score one equals two. We use the scanner object next int, right? Okay. And score, uh, we will just copy and paste. And I will do this deliberately so that you will see a problem, okay? So now we'll read the three test scores. And uh, what else do we need? That is it, right? Now we will do what? We have all the input. We will calculate. Uh, do the calculations. Calculate the average score and new age, okay? So the new age should be what? New age should be assigned the value of the age plus 20. That will give you the age in 20 years. And then the average score, okay? Average score would be what? Would be, um, how do you calculate that? We will add all three scores together, right? Three, and divide that by three. Add the scores together and divide that by the number of scores. And now you will see here it says score two, score three. You see these wavy red lines. That means there is a problem. And you can point your mouse pointer here and it will tell you that local variable score two and score three may not have been initialized. And indeed, they are not because they are declared here and they never had a value because I simply copied and pasted it here and it's always score one. So I need to change that to score two and score three. And so this shows you that when you use a variable in the calculation or in the display statement, if it doesn't have a value, it won't compile. So you need to make sure they have values. Either they are initialized in an assignment statement or you read a value into it uh, using the scanner object. Okay, so another problem I want to show you is that here, if you look at this, the three scores added together, they are all int. So this will give you an int. And this is also an int. An int divided by an int will give you an int average score, which is not accurate. So what can we do? We must make one of the operands into a double, okay? So there are two ways. One is to do this. Now, this is a double, right? Okay, that's one way. Another way is, I will just copy and paste it here. Another way is to not change this value, but explicitly cast this, right, into a double. Okay, so here we are casting the result of this addition into a double, and then divided by three. So this will give you the accurate uh, average score also. Okay, now that is done. All the calculation is done. Now let's display the information, all information. Okay, to display, I will just copy and paste this. Um, okay, so, okay, so your full name is plus the full name, right? You know this string concatenation we uh, discussed. Okay. Um, full name. And I'm going to copy this once again. Okay. Just paste it. <laughs> and uh, okay. So your current age is And here we will say age, right? In 10 years, in 20 years, 20 years, that's a long time, you will be, um, 
you will be, this is the new age. Okay. Years old. And notice the space I left here because after age, you want to have a space. And before age, you also have a space. Okay. And your three um, test scores are, okay, let's display the three test scores. We want to have everything transparent, right? So score one plus, um, give it a space to separate it. Score two plus a space score three. Okay, so this displays the three scores. And then your average score is, close it, plus average score. Okay, so that is it. Uh, right, let's see. We want to calculate, calculate, and display all the information. Okay, so now this is the program. We are done, and let's run it. Okay, I'm going to uh, just to uh, format it well, uh, delete all the unnecessary white spaces. Okay, I'm going to run. Okay, so what is your full name? John Smith. What is your age? 23. And please enter the three test scores separated by a space. So what are the three test scores? Uh, 89, 67, um, 90. Okay. And now here is all the information. Uh, your full name is John Smith. Your current age is 23. In 20 years, you will be 43 years old. Your three test scores are, this is a copy of those. Your average score is 82.0. Okay. So obviously those three together, it, it gives you a, a, a complete uh, integer. Okay. Uh, so that's it, everybody.